All right, all right, all right. Uh, this is the high score challenge, and this is this was my pick. Uh, this was uh, Asterix uh, for the arcade, which I thought was a pretty, uh, pretty fun game. So hopefully, a few people will enter. Um, so this was I've tried a few bits of it, but I didn't really get time to, to um, practice at loads. So I just practiced a few times and I just played like so. Who cares? Um, I think Oblix seems to be a little bit better. I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed. Dogmatics isn't like right beside him, but um. Yeah, Oblix seems to be a little bit better than Asterix, although maybe it's just my imagination. So this game, I don't know when it was released. I think it's Capcom? I'm not sure. I don't think it is, actually. But, um, yeah, so if you don't know Asterix, Asterix was a comic years and years ago. Um, and I'll, I'll always remember it was, um, the comic used to be down in the light, the public library when I was, like, small. When I was really small, and, um, I used to, like, borrow them from the library and then bring them back. And I think my mother got me like two of them for Christmas, like the the annuals or, or they're just the big, they're hardback comics. They're brilliant. I really, really like them. And um, kind of forgot about Asterix, Asterix uh, for a few years then. But then I played the, the Mega Drive game and I couldn't get past the, um, I think it was the Mega Drive one. I couldn't get past the stage where there's water and there's fish coming up. And I just kind of give up. So I wanted to try another couple of Asterix games and I just tried this one. And I really like it because it's quite cartoony and fun. And it's a little beat em up as well. It's not just a platformer. But there's still, yeah, there's certain uh, little cool things you can do. Animation's really nice as well. And I do recognise some of the um some of the enemy characters as well from the comic. I think so anyway. <laughs> I'm sure if you get far enough Julius Caesar will be in it as well, so that'll be that'll be really cool. But yeah, so I got to when I got to stage two, when I got killed. So I'm sure other people will have um maybe have the whole game completed possibly. <laughs> if anyone enters. <laughs> So yeah, it might be imag my imagination, but Oblix seems to be better than Asterix. I don't know if it's because Asterix is smaller. I'm not sure. I know Oblix was dipped into the um, the the potion that they take to get really strong uh, when he was a baby. So he he's always has he's always strong, as opposed to everyone else that has to take the potion to beat the to beat the Romans. Yeah, so this is a comic. I think it's a French comic. There was a film. Um, made of this as well with um, Gerard Depardieu. He was uh, Oblix. I think he was Oblix, anyway. Yeah. And I don't know who was Asterix, someone else. Yes, yeah, so. It's a shame they didn't include more. I just got killed. It's a shame they didn't include more characters as well. Like, um, you know, the, the Chieftain and all that uh, as playable characters, but I suppose, what can you do? The Kulf was four player. Somebody could play as, like, Get a Fix or something as well. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I really like these kind of games. Um, just the uh, oh dear, this is actually. I know there's a way of doing this. I just don't know how to do it. I just thought I'd give him a little couple of whaps, and then move out of the way because I don't want them to hit me with a big spear. Like they did there. Ugh. It's the the fail the phalanx. Phalanx formation, as the Romans copied from the, the Greeks. <laughs> I like the way it's in French as well as English. This is quite cool here as well to break up the um the monotony of just walking to the right and beating everyone up. Little bonus stage where you have to jump over stuff. So I this is my second time trying this actually, so uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. As you can see here, I'm doing off terribly. <laughs> Should have really practiced this more, but I didn't get time. So I believe you get points for this if you do it within the time. And I got 200 points. Wow. <laughs> Asterix, Asterix in Egypt. Beat the evil architects, but rescue the good architect. Yeah. All right. I believe this is where I got killed. <laughs> I think I will play this more, practice it more. I'll just keep continuing and see what the rest of the game is like. But um, these games are very hard to get, like to you know, on on one continue because the arcade machines are made as I as I died there. The arcade machines are made to like make you put in more money, like so. So I'll just pop in the old name here. 
and I hope everyone's having a nice nice time in quarantine. At least you give a chance to play lots of games. I shall go for GUL. Right, that is it. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for taking part, for anyone who took part in this challenge, and I'll see you again soon. Adios.